Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're doing a late ass daily today. It is Samson. I've heard amazing things. Kate did the daily today. When the heck did that happen? Uh, some decent, well, I mean, better than decent scores. Ranks are in the top 3,000 or so. This will be interesting. Let's look how we did yesterday. Top 1,000, I can live with it. Um, normally, I wake up. Drink some coffee, record the daily. Um, this is obviously Mega Satan uh, as Samson. Today is very different. Uh, I've already done, you know, my my requisite work for today. I've done the streaming and stuff like that. I may have even had uh, a couple of adult beverages, thinking that my work was done for the day. But then I realized, oh shit, I'm gonna be away for a couple of days. Got to make sure I have a backlog. Let's knock out the daily. So. That may or may not make the daily easier, it may or may not make it harder, it may or may not have any uh, impact whatsoever. You know, there's this Mitchell and Webb sketch where David Mitchell plays a um, uh, kind of like a, a Kingsman type figure who works for a shady organization convincing people that a lot of things in life are just easy after one or possibly two drinks. I'm hoping that that applies today. It's definitely not true of a lot of things, definitely don't apply that to driving or, you know, probably like doing your taxes or operating any form of heavy machinery, um, performing your nephew's bris. There's a lot of a lot of situations for which that is not relevant. Uh, but maybe, just maybe, you know, lower the blood pressure a little bit, relax, actually breathe over the course of these episodes a little bit more, and uh, have a great Samson run. As long as we can beat Mathis, that's the only thing that matters to me. He's been getting a little too big for his britches within the Isaac community, you know? I, that's, I mean that with no disrespect. It sounded like it came out with a lot of disrespect, but I'm just joking and I phrased it weirdly. But, uh, you know, I, I like being in the position I'm in in the Isaac community because I recognize that I still suck. Mathis is starting to be more competitive in these races. He's getting the, I wouldn't say a big ego necessarily, but he's, he's starting to rub it in my face a little bit that he's getting a little bit more competitive. And you have to learn that, um, you know, once you're on top, the most important thing is to realize that there's only one way to go, you know? You gotta, you gotta respect that uh, you are stupid and will always be stupid. Not you specifically, Mathis, but just, you know, the, the royal you, which is actually us. Magic Mush, great pickup. Good run so far. Uh, you know, the grandfather fly familiar. It's okay. It's not out of control or anything like that. I do worry that maybe um, I find myself unable to get the deal with the devil on this floor. Obviously, we, for once, we don't need to finagle a deal with the angel to try to get, like, a Mega Satan fight or anything like that. We already have the key piece. But it would be in our best interest, if possible, to not get hit and, as a result, be able to get that deal with the devil. Who knows? I'm imagining the reason the scores are so high is that there's a Brimstone or a Mom's Knife or a Death's Touch or a Tech X or something sitting somewhere. Bursting Sack, Spider Love. The fact that all of the scores on my leaderboard were so high makes me think that we're probably looking at um, maybe actually like an item room where something amazing shows up. No, not to uh, throw shade at everybody that I know that is friends with me. Um, but you know, you expect if you got like four people on your friends list that have done something, one of them's gonna fuck it up. Not the same person every time, but just statistically speaking, somebody's gonna brick it. So if somebody bricked it on this deal with the devil, how would they get a score that's still, you know, doing pretty decent up there? Well, it would have to be a deal with the, uh, not a deal with the devil, but it would have to be a, uh, an item room showing up somewhere, I guess, that just had an incredible item. So, shooting that there allowed us to get one extra penny out of the whole situation. This is really, I mean, it might not be the be-all end-all, but it's very important, this floor right here. It all comes down to this. Yes, hello. Hi. What's up? Go ahead. What are you knocking on the door for? Okay, just want to watch it. You, get out of here. You're freaking me out, lady. It's some performance anxiety. I can tell she's interested because she knocked for once instead of just scaring me. I know the door is still open. I can feel the breeze. There's like an 8 degree temperature differential as soon as you cross that threshold. There must be something uh, something noteworthy if she wants to watch it firsthand. Can you see my score? Yeah, your score is real good, Kate. My score is the worst. Is the, what do you mean is the worst? Well, it's not good? You were up there. like You were in the like 30,000s or something. It's bad? How good is the run that your score was bad? What what happened? I don't know. I don't know why my score is bad. Girl, you're like you're not giving me anything. You're coming in here to spy on me. You're not giving me any inside information. You did fine. It's just uh, it seems like it was very easy to get a, a score in the you know high thirties, low forties. No! Don't worry about it. it wasn't that good anyway. My wife. 
leave this place. Okay. I need to focus. You need to be method Get out of here, lady! Oh my god, she has no respect for the sanctity. This is like people were like, well, you know, nobody cares about the the 300th best NBA basketball player in the world. Yeah, it was. When freaking Kobe Bryant goes out there to shoot free throws, is his wife uh, standing there on the sideline trying to have a conversation about what to get from the grocery store? Is it uh, go into my office? This is this is daddy time right here. I'm not getting. I've I've fucked up my deal with the devil and I'm despondent. Not because the deal with the devil is necessarily amazing, but may have lost precedence. May have lost. Um, you know, I've lost I've lost information, which is the most important thing of all. All right, that's okay. I'll I'll survive. Life goes on. That's not necessarily the kiss of death. I mean, it's I've only been hit twice. One of those was in a very unfortunate circumstance. We'll we'll carry on. That's okay. Let's keep ourselves back here. This is the worst enemy. Are we is this flooded caves only? No, this is caves. I thought maybe the the shitty silkworms were only on the flooded caves, but that's not true. Clearly. Um okay. Okay, 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 okay. Slow down. We have no keys. That's been a real piss off so far. We got pentagram though. Pentagram, uh, according to what Kate said, probably better than what was in the deal with the devil to begin with. Does give us a better deal chance in the future at least. So all, all is not lost for sure. The sun? It's, uh, it's okay. There is a, a school of thought. It's not really a school of thought. It's more of just a potentiality. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and that, that potentiality is that, um, missing that deal with the- ah! <laughs> I was gonna say, missing that deal with the devil guarantees us this one, as long as we don't get hit, but we got hit. Um, so, we could still get this deal with the devil, but it's less likely than it looked before. Oh no, have I completely squandered this one? It is indeed a literal possibility. You know, I, I've been on great runs in Isaac, and I've been on slumps, and the, the thing I've learned is you don't really control the slumps so much as you just kind of ride them out, you know, it's like turbulence. You, it's not the skill of the pilot that determines the amount of turbulence you run into. Thank God we still got that, so I can stop with that terrible analogy. We all know it's the skill of the pilot that causes the turbulence. Oh good, in this one, I got Ghost Baby instead. Stop the presses, I got Ghost Baby. We should pop the sun card. We have one bomb. I might like to visit our uh, our secret room at some point. I might like to visit our shop. Might like to visit our item room. Um, might like to get that deal with the devil that I missed on the last floor. But for now, uh, I think what we do is we go open these two chests in here before we. Well, actually, let's uh, let's take it to the next level, to the extreme here. Let's drag both chests down here. Drop this right there. Didn't get a key. But we did get an item out of it and the secret room. So we kind of doubled down there. That's There's benefits there. It's a very strong daily so far. It makes me, makes me feel a little bad about that uh, first deal with the devil we missed. The only thing we haven't had the whole run until now is spirit hearts. So, uh, are we going to... What's our other one? Suicide King? So sure, let's just use High Priestess right now. It doesn't do too much for us, but it's not like we're doing anything else with it. Uh pills. Before we take these pills, let's make sure we pick up Fate's Reward. Luck up. Question marks. Tears down. Oh, this is a great start so far. <laughs> I know that Mathis said he, he Skyped me and said, great daily today. Enjoy yourselves, guys. Like he's some kind of freaking, he's like the, the CEO of the car dealership or something coming in to check on the, on the dealers before, uh, before the day's work begins. I never noticed you get a little dolly hanging off of your side there when you pick up dolly. Maybe I did notice that before. Okay. So far, so okay. I mean, really good damage on this run, at least. We got no keys. I like the way you work it, but you got no keys. You're gonna have to back it up. But, like, sincerely get away from the door if you don't have any keys. This is reserved for paying customers only. That's not... I can live with that damage. That's not that bad. We are in desperate need of some kind of mechanism to open a door, so we will be using bombs to access chests on the regular. So far, lots of familiars. Let's do some brainstorming, some mental gymnastics. What makes this run so good? Well, clearly, most people on my friends list are fighting Mega Satan, you know, making it down to the dark room, doing boss rush, so there's enough damage in here. Uh, and then also, 
There must be consumables at some point, because you can only get items from, like, you know, there's not that many locations. Box of Spiders is okay. I'm thinking maybe BFF shows up on this floor, or a future floor, thereby making our familiars that much better. Maybe we get Box of Friends or something like that. There's got to be something like that to, to swing this one. Because as of right now, it's good, but it's not like, hey, tweet me, it's good. It's just like, it's above average. There's something, there's something chilling here. Uh, one of the people that follows me on Twitter tweeted me and told me they were in 34th or something like that, 34th place. Not even on Greed Butt, which is like, it, it does a little anti-cheat, but uh, they were 34th like raw on the leaderboards. That's actually amazing. That's, that's probably like third if you take out all the cheaters, so kudos to you if you managed to stay there or close to there. Uh, even if you didn't, that's still amazing. Uh, I, I may have missed a deal with the devil here. That's real unfortunate, but we got plenty of time. One of the things we have in spades right now is time, so let's farm up some consumables. I mean, this is the benefit you get when you can kill enemies in one hit. Kate's score was in, like, the 30s somewhere. And it's really good still. That's still, like, a... Uh, 30 something. Should it maybe miss Hush and that's how that happens? I'm not sure. I'm gonna try a bomb here. I had a feeling it was probably on our right, actually, but I didn't want to skip our double key room. Let's see what we get in here. Who dares wins, right? Double key room is several batteries, um, which is not necessarily worth using with Box of Spiders, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to access any other rooms on this floor. Maybe a crawl space or something. Well, um, I'd, I still believe that um, you will be here, so give me a sign. Slit me, baby, one more time. That didn't come out right. That came across more sadomasochistic than I intended. It was meant to be more like the slit tickler, you know, the mustache and goatee area. Instead, it became a violent thing, and I apologize for that. Um, always take the, well, not always, but I will often take the curse room first when I'm Samson, just so I can get that damage bonus as early as possible. I think we've, I mean, apart from that damage right there, I think we've played relatively well on this run. It's just the damage we have taken has come at the least opportune times. Like, right at the end of the floor, right at the end of the boss fight even. Take a hit. Yeah, you feel real smart after that. Better to take, uh, well, that's pretty helpful here. Better to take, uh, you know, 15 hits and not lose red hearts than, uh, than the other way around, at least on the early game. But, um, you know, you're starting to see where this run comes together. It just gets a little bit better every single floor, and then before you know it, you're you're really balling out of control here. Now we finally have enough keys as well. Just didn't want to walk on the spikes there. Uh, what do you think about that one right there? Kind of tempted. I'm really tempted for nine lives, but I'm trying to figure out how we actually use nine lives in a way that's effective for us with... Um, well, I mean, with the obvious here, with the fact that we have uh, Suicide King. I guess we, we can't blank card, because we don't have blank cards. So we would just Suicide King once and then come back. But where would we even use it? I guess we'd probably just use it uh, in whatever room we got it on. We, we don't have any other guarantees until we get down to the chest. And, you know, we might not even be going to the chest. We might be going to Mega Satan on this one. regard, Or we might be going to the Dark Room Mega Satan on this one regardless. It seems like if they give you a choice, they try to shoehorn you into... Uh, or if they give you one that goes on this lawn, they try to shoehorn you into that dark room path, which is fine. It'll be uh, even more fine once I stop doing dark room Mega Satan runs myself. It'll feel like even more variety. But that's that's my own personal, you know, task and challenge right now. All right, surely this floor or next floor is where it really takes off to the Great White North, featuring Bob and Doug McKenzie and Getty Lee. I believe. Get HP. Might as well take it. We have like four or five, so. It's not going to make an appreciable difference. This doesn't appear to be where it uh, where it takes off. Lump of cold, there's nothing wrong with it, but certainly not the, the be-all, end-all for us. As we head down to the next floor, and I wonder if maybe, you know, we've been passed by here. Oh, no. You know why Mathis told us this run was great? There must be an IV bag chilling right. Okay. Well, don't I feel smart. <laughs> Knowing that Mathis has a big old 12-year-old boner for... IV bag, I thought for sure I'd figured out where the where the infatuation with this run had come from, but apparently I was incorrect. Oh! No, we're still safe here. 
We still no. We have no spiders left over. I thought maybe from way earlier we still man managed to keep a couple going, but apparently not. Not that that's a huge problem. I mean, two spiders, one spider per room is still okay. You know, it's no guppy's head, but it's uh, it's all right. Okay, yeah. Rusted key feels like the the basis for a more interesting uh, setup for us than than umbilical cord for sure. This is where we get proptosis. Still really good. Not really blowing the doors off in terms of offense, but we've got a great defensive setup. No question about that. Um, do I care about the golden poop that much? Not. Not when it costs us a key to get. And a bomb, but like lesser. That's less bad, you know, the bomb. Hmm. Maybe I just set myself off with the, uh... With that first floor devil deal, man. Just messed it up. It's not a guarantee that I messed it up yet, but it could be. Spirit heart, uh, possibly slash probably worth getting. I'm holding off for now just in case we find tinted rocks, because small rock might be a little bit more valuable. Pretty close to the HP cap. Well, not really, actually. What are we at in terms of this? With Depths 2? Oh my god, I was actually just about to fight uh, Mom there. I'm glad I didn't. Let's, yeah, blow this up. As of right now, still a little in the dark for what makes this so special. But now, I mean, I'm looking at it and I'm like, we're 14 minutes in. We've been to almost every single room. We haven't really rushed. And we're already on the depths too. So, I mean, I guess just on the merits of the pentagram and uh, magic mush and, you know, dolly, we've managed to string together like a great run. We haven't done it. The, the run has done it. But we're here for it. Maybe I'm looking for this like over the top. I'm, I'm learning like some valuable sitcom-esque lessons here. I'm looking for the big over the top gesture, but it turns out it's the little things that are actually making it special right now. Also, thank you for Small Rock. I did ask for that. That was a... Uh, Maybe not a big over-the-top gesture, but very nice and well-received regardless. Well-received like a Tom Brady play-action pass to his tight end. Negative. No deal with the devil. Quad shots. Oh, there it is. Okay, mom's knife then. Thank God we saved a bomb. I know what everyone's thinking, by the way. They're thinking, oh, can't wait till NL accidentally uses the Suicide King card. Look, I know myself well enough to know that I can't say it'll never happen. I can't sit here and be like, oh, we're never going to use it. I'm never intentionally going to use the Suicide King card and ruin my whole run. But that doesn't mean it can't happen. Oh, I'm trapped in hell right now. Um, the, the Mom's Knife pickup is glorious. It does suffer from a range uh, disadvantage. Which does mean that we're gonna uh, have some problems against Hush, but for right now, that's that's like a tomorrow problem. I'm not in the market for worrying about tomorrow problems right now. It's today. Yeah, being able to one-shot the bosses is very nice as well. Especially multi-stage bosses like that. Um, excuse me, you should be dead. Uh, I've already killed your companion, thank you. Uh, the Haunt is gonna die in one hit as well. Now, all of a sudden, you're like, okay, this is why this run is good. Oh, now I... Because I saw... <laughs> not to bring everything in the commentary back to Mathis, but he does permeate my thoughts on a daily basis, so it, it is only honest. Um, he showed me a bunch of comments on his video, and he's like, you know, somebody's mad at me for throwing away a fun run to get Mom's Knife on a daily. And they were like, at least NL does fun stuff. And I'm like, ooh, hate to break it to you, man. I didn't even hesitate to pick up Mom's Knife. I was all in. That's a daily thing, man. On the, especially, you know, Mom's Knife has not shown up that often for me in, in Afterbirth, but... Um, you you ha On the daily, I think you owe it to yourself. If, if you're playing the dailies, at least. You owe it to yourself to do uh, whatever gives you the best chance at actually competing. I think so. On a regular seed that, you know, nobody else is going to play, who cares? There's a polycephalus or something here. There we go, Little Horn. Um, but on a on a daily, you know, there's some bragging rights involved. You gotta you gotta get the best score possible because you know, ten thousand people are gonna watch your video and be like, "Hey, shithead, I beat you." And you know what? Sometimes you are the shithead. <laughs> Missing that deal with the devil made me a little bit of a, a shithead, but not too much of a shithead. A, a shitheart with good intentions. Oh man, that was fast. Sad bombs. Oh, and so it is all coming together here. 
Uh, that's awesome. I really thought it would... I was overthinking it. I was like, oh, we're gonna have to use Blank Card, Suicide King, nine lives, and we're gonna end up doing it on the dark room and getting, like, all the guppy items or something. Nah, it's just, like, Mom's Knife, high damage. Okay. I don't know if I... It's necessarily something to write home about. It is fun, though. Mom's Knife and Brimstone on vanilla runs have been pretty scarce for me, so... Now, the one thing I will say about our run right now, for all the dumb damage I've taken, we haven't taken... Like, we've taken a high amount of dumb damage, but very little damage, or at least relatively little damage, um, in total. So, it's kind of like, imagine if you only had one meal a day, but it was always like the Pizza Hut lunch buffet from when we were kids. That's pretty much the life I'm living right now. I may only be eating one meal a day, but it's been really, really bad for me. Um... Not that I'm implying that eating is necessarily a bad thing to begin with. You know, you gotta eat, of course. But, um... The damage I've taken has been awful. But it, ha it hasn't been that much. At least not that much that's that's been uh, non-preventable, you know? So... I feel good. I feel like we have a chance to compete. You know, we're we're halfway to that 40,000 score already. And we still... Oh, wow. That was, that was not smart damage. I kind of lost him in the familiars behind us. But, uh... We, we don't really have anything to worry about from the perspective of, uh, of score, I think. Because we're already halfway to 40,000, and we, uh, we haven't done Hush, we haven't done Mega Satan, and we, we don't have too many more items to pick up. You know, we got a lot more potential consumables dropping. What I'm getting at is basically, like, I think we're a little bit ahead of the curve. I mean, we have done Boss Rush, of course, but Boss Rush gives you 4,400. Hush gives you 5,500, and then Mega Satan gives you 6,600, so... I know it's 66, 66, but um, you get the idea. Um, yeah, so I, I really think that we're uh, we're probably in a pretty good place here to, to compete with those 40,000s. I think maybe if you were to put an upper bound on it right now, I'd look at like 43, 44. So the less damage we can take against Hush, the better. We You know, that, that 3,000 can get eroded pretty quickly down in the dark room. Oh, we're not doing anything on the dark room anyway. It can still be eroded pretty quickly on any floor. It's just that's the floor where we're most likely to take damage. That and the, the Satan fight specifically, I suppose. So much time, and it would be very silly not to go to every single uh, available room. Except for that one that's way over there, because that's a long walk. But we got to pick up the pennies and stuff. All right. Partner, keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Great stuff. Easy fight. Yeah, okay. I mean, these are both good enough, for sure. We have more than enough HP. I'm totally going to take the ability to fly as well. Book of uh, Book of Spiders? I mean, let's be, effect let's be realistic. That's effectively what it is. But, um, yeah, the spider box is okay, but more interested in uh, just a passive ability to fly. Got to check this out. You know, anytime you end up on a seed this this good, you got to try to, like, run some strategies that other people might not consider in order to get as many points as possible if you really want to be up there. So, I think this is uh, this is one of the ones some people might not think of. They're like, oh, why would I hurt myself and then go into that mob trap room? It's for the points, baby. Nah, not interested in that. Plenty of keys now as well. That's great. Um, I would get rid of the ability to fly for IV bag. But it's uh, relatively minor in the whole scheme of things. Might have been a tinted rock back there, but I'm too lazy to check. I guess we didn't really take damage. It's just the... Oh, that was dumb. Luckily, we didn't bleed too much on it, but just the deal with the devil. Okay, bunch of question marks. Very skeptical or, or hesitant, I should say, to just immediately pop a, uh, a pill when I pick it up. Just in case I accidentally walk over Suicide King again and accidentally uh, end up killing myself. For the sake of a laugh, that would be subpar. If I wanted to get a cheap laugh, I'd po post a picture of my testicles. <laughs> Seriously, though, they do look like Mount Rushmore. It's very strange. If I want to get a sophisticated laugh, I'd post a picture of War and Peace printed on my testicles. I don't know where there's a joke in there. This is the, the new SNL character. Guy who ends every sentence with on my testicles in unexpected ways. Well, I mean, it's obviously a very overpowered run. Mom's Knife has defined it, I think, without a doubt. Uh, Death's Touch is very nice as well. So this one is like, 
if you didn't get to boss rush, you're really missing out, man. Even quad shot would have been like a totally fine pickup. When I first saw it, I was like, okay, at least this isn't one of those uh, boss rushes where you're just doing it for the points. Quad shot is good enough to, to justify taking it anyway, in my opinion. I know it might be different in, in speedrun strats, but I'm not so con concerned about time in this situation. Bloody penny. Oh, yeah, that's like you have to take it. And then if we if we luck into an IV bag, I'll I'll be happy. But I'm not gonna try to force it. That would allow us to get a lot of points though, especially if we could swing like a humbling bundle or something uh, out of that. But I still think we can compete with those forty thousand scores without even having to worry about it. But then those forty thousand scores were only in the top like one thousand or something, so there must be something else going on here. None of those are, are worth anything for us. Dead onion doesn't give us anything. Uh, strange attractor could be funny. Let's take it. Trinket's head is a huge pickup, obviously. Card is the fool. Uh, I don't think any of those are necessarily worth it. I'm still keeping Suicide King. There's a chance, man. There's a chance we get something worth it there. And I guess I should probably uh, look into using the White Pony active effect, because that should give us the ability to actually... Uh, we might gain points for using it, but in addition to that, we might... Uh, you know, be able to dodge a shot or something. All right, good stuff. I mean, we do have sad bombs. Uh, if there's any time to use them, this would be one of them. If there's many times to use them, this would be one of them. Uh, I would not dislike it, but I do have not too many bombs. That's bad damage on my part. I guess the other thing we could do is just try to farm up as many uh, hearts as possible here. Come on, dog. It's a little ridiculous. I don't know. That was probably a really bad sad bomb. But we can farm up a lot of hearts just by, like, getting hit and then running into the flies or running into the, uh, beings that, uh, this enemy creates. This enemy. I'm not even giving him, giving him the respect of, uh, repeating his, his given name here. Come on, though, dog. Let's, let's be real. I don't know why you keep moving as I'm doing this. Thank you. Like, the bomb keeps getting hit by, like, Fate's Reward or something. The continuum shots are actually a huge blessing uh, for us here because we can stand still fairly close to uh, to Hush itself. Like 75, 80% of the way through the fight here. Nothing to sneeze at. More continuum shots is a very good thing for us. Even if we get hit once, we can reposition ourselves. Life goes on. Just keep it up here. It's a nice change of pace, especially this run, this daily, after um, all those dailies that just went to mom. This is like, oh right, the rest of the game that I try to get to all the time on those uh, Lilith runs and fail at. Maybe this is the perfect time for me to do one more Lilith run. Well, I'll, I'll obviously do as many as it takes, but not tonight. But tonight I can do one more Lilith run to try to swing it. Might as well. Okay, down to the next floor. We're already at 32,000. Mega Satan bonus is another six, so we're uh, we're making time, man. It's like the Red Hot Chili Peppers said, all around the world, we can make time. Rumping and stumping, because I'm in my prime, and I was always like, yeah, dog. I've been rumping and stumping as the day is long, so I feel you, Anthony Kiedis. I mean, I might as well double our bombs. I'm playing this... This Joker right here, just in case he drops a Joker. Oh, we got Bum Friends. Uh, from a from a gameplay standpoint, what can I say about Bum Friend? I haven't said thirty three thousand times already. From a uh, from a point standpoint, I don't think Bum Friend gives us as much as he takes because he takes a consumable for the chance to give you a consumable. Maybe all consumables aren't created equal, but uh, I kind of thought that they were might have been. We got a penny here. That would have made all the difference. That would have been enough to separate us, man. Bum friend, no! <laughs> These belong to me. I don't have IV bag, man. More spirit hearts. We actually should go back for that, but let's be real. The relic is going to drop more. We're not leaving any points behind because we're going to get more spirit hearts anyway. I wonder if there's a strategy in... Uh a good strategy. Obviously, there's a strategy, but what if there's a good strategy in taking damage so you can get more spirit hearts? 
I have to imagine the answer is probably no. We know this is going to be a dead end, which is exactly why I'm actually making an effort to go to it. Because we know it's not going to be a huge time investment, but it will give us some points. In the meantime, we continue moving on. I mean, again, like, it's a fine daily today. There's nothing wrong with today's daily. It's fun, even. I would I would go so far as to drop the F-bomb. It's a fun one. But uh, it's not that uh, it's not that over-the-top, like, incredible in terms of synergies or something like that, which is kind of what I was hoping for, because it, it had been hyped up, but... You know, that's that's not uh, the run's fault. That's the that's the community reaction and my own assumptions. You know what they say? If you assume, you can oftentimes be wrong as a result of incomplete information. It's very bad damage on my part. Uh, Scumbag NL says he's going to use the pony's active effect and then never use the pony's active effect. Scumbag NL calls it the pony. It's actually the white pony. Look, I never should have taken that damage. I'll be real with you on that one. Let's get this done. This is all going to move very fast now. We'll probably be done with this entire run within like the next two or three minutes. Especially if uh, Mega Satan goes out as like as much of a bitch as his little boy does here. That was just the worst. Okay, let's go back. Ah, let's not. <laughs> it's not very smart, but I'm not going to go back. Just because I'm lazy. What's our points at? 36,000? I don't know, man. I don't think we're going to be too much ahead of, of 40, but we'll probably be in the 40-something range. What makes you larger? Range up. The range up isn't bad. I'm not going to use the Suicide King card. I know people are like, whoa, will you, will you use, use the Suicide King card after you kill Mega Satan? Yeah, sure. If Mega Satan drops nine lives, I'm all over it. But um, apart from that, absolutely not. I'm out, I'm out for the long haul here, man. There's real bragging rights on the line. And I, as real as bragging rights can be, at least. And we're getting through this real quickly, like. I'm sure we're dropping some bombs to take out the enemies that are a little bit more uh, crowd control -y. And so far, that's working out just fine. There's another one. And that was very dumb of me, but we're still more than ahead of the curve, I think it's fair to say. We even got a black heart back. And we're going to have angel statues now. You get 6,000 for killing this dude, so I'm pretty sure we're up there in the 42s. But now I'm like, shit, we're Mathis and Luke in the 42s? Are we all just chilling in 42 town? We're all just loving each other up in mediocrity up there? And I'm, I'm trying to brag about how I'm the, I'm the number two crab in the bucket or something like that? I think that might be the case. Let's find out in uh, probably about 15 seconds here. To be fair, there were things I could have done to... Uh, that was extremely dumb. Um, there were things I could have done to, to make my case better. Could have done every room on the uh, on the dark room. That sort of thing ain't my bag, baby. We're still at 36, basically. All right, let's walk into this. We finished at 42. Oh, we're 553rd. That wasn't that bad at all. Hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I guess we didn't take that much damage after all.